Hey Finksters! In today's lecture, we will be discussing how to create a nested directory in Python. Now before we dive into the solutions, let us try to understand the question and then we will have a look at the different ways of approaching this problem. So let's say that this is my project folder, which is Python OS and within this I have my script. But now let's say I want to create a different directory within Python OS and within that directory I want to create another directory within which I'll store certain external files. Now let me show this to you. Let's say I'm doing it with the help of the GUI. Let's say I'm creating a directory. Let's name it parent. And now within this parent folder I'm going to create a directory known as child1 and then once again I'll create another directory by the name child2. Now what I want to do is that when I'm using this script I store certain files within child1 and certain files within child2. So that way I want to organize my files so that I can refer to them later and it helps me to understand the project structure in a better way. But how am I going to create this with the help of my script or let's say there can be couple of scenarios in this case. One, this parent folder is already present along with child1 and child2. In that case, how will I check if parent1 or the parent folder is already present or not? And then how will I check if child1 and child2 is present? And the second scenario is these folders are not present. In that case, how will I go ahead and create these folders and then store the files in them? So this is the purpose of this lecture. In this lecture, we will go ahead and check if a directory or a nested directory, for example, child1 and child2, these are nested directories since they reside within the parent directory. So that is what we will go ahead and check if these directories are present or not. If present, then we will store the files in these directories. And then if the directory is not present, then how we will create the nested directories one by one. So I hope that the problem statement is clear. So the first approach that we will follow is to use a module known as pathlib. Let's have a quick look at the official documentation and let's find out what does the pathlib module do. The pathlib module offers classes representing file system path with semantics appropriate for different operating systems. So this means you can use this module if you are working on Windows or you can also use it if you are working on Mac or Linux. So as we are going to use the pathlib module, we need to import it. So what we will do is go ahead and import path from pathlib. So there we go. We have now imported path from the pathlib module. Our next step is to go ahead and pass the location where we want to create our directories. Now in this case, let's go ahead and let me first go ahead and delete these directories. Let's consider the first scenario wherein we don't have these directories and we want to create them. So in that case, we simply go ahead and we create a path object that contains the path of our directories. Now as I want to create my directories in this folder itself that is within Python OS itself. So I'll use a dot slash and let me keep these within quotes and then the first directory or the parent directory let me name it parent and then let's create another directory by the name child. So that's it. Now that we have the path we need to create the directories. So to do that we need the help of the mkdir method which will help us to create the directories. So we simply go ahead and use p which is our path object dot mkdir. Now I cannot simply go ahead and execute this piece of code. This is because at this moment of time parent or the parent directory is absent. So Python will not find it and it will throw an exception. So let's go ahead and find out what happens if we execute this. As you can see we have a file not found error. So how do we avoid this error? Avoid this error if the directory is not present that is the parent directory is not present already. We have to go ahead and set a parameter within our function mkdir after which we can avoid this error. So the name of this parameter is parents and we simply have to go ahead and set the value of the parents parameter to true. So that's it. What we are doing here is 
basically we are telling python to create the parents directory before creating the child directory so now when we go ahead and execute this piece of code there we go as you can see that parent was created and within parent we have the directory child so we have successfully created a nested directory now there can be another scenario where we have both the child as well as its parent directory already created in that case if we write this piece of code then we will again get an error let's go ahead and find that error and as you can see that now we have a file exists error so how do we avoid this error in this case to avoid this error we need to simply go ahead and set another parameter within our mkdir method the name of that parameter is exists underscore ok and we simply have to go ahead and set this parameter to true by default exists underscore ok is false but if we set exists underscore ok to true in that case if the directory that is the child directory and the parent directory is already present then we will not get the error so let's go ahead and execute this piece of code to find out if this works and there we go as you can see that the directories were already present nothing happened and python simply stopped the execution of this code now you might be wondering will this piece of code work if we don't have the directories so let's go ahead and do that as well let's delete the directories that we had already so now as you can see we don't have parent or child directory now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code once again we once again have created the parent directory and within it we have the child directory so this is how you can use the pathlib module and then use it mkdir method to create the nested directory that you want once you have created the nested directory you can simply go ahead and store the files in that directory now a disclaimer here you can use this approach if you are using python 3.5 or above if you are using an older version then let's go ahead and find out how we can do this with the help of our next approach so in this approach we will use a module known as os so if you have been working with files within your script then you might be aware of this module because it is a very important module when it comes to deal with files and folders in python script so now let's say that we have a scenario wherein the parent directory and the child directory are not present now all you have to do is to use the os module dot make dir's method within the os module which will help us to create the directories within the specified path and now within this function we have to pass the path wherein we want to create the directories so i want to create it within this folder itself so dot and i'll name the parent directory as parent itself and then i'll name the child directory as child okay now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code and there we go as you can see we now have created the parent directory and within this we have the child directory now comes the second scenario what if we already have these directories present within our folder in that case if we go ahead and execute this piece of code what happens let's see that and as you can see we have a file exists error so how do we avoid the occurrence of this error in this case so the best way to avoid this error is to use exception handling with the help of the try and catch blocks rather i should say try and accept blocks within try we simply go ahead and create this directory so if we do not have any exception and when does that happen that happens when we do not have the directories present already but if the directories are already present then python throws an exception and to handle that exception we use the accept block within which we simply go ahead and print the directories are already present so that's it that's how simple this is now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code once again to find out we if we have the error no this time we have successfully resolved the error and we have printed the directories are already present as you can see that the directories are already present so that's what we are displaying to the user so that was the second approach of solving this problem now it is always good to have more than one way of solving a given problem so the next way of solving this problem is to use a different package and the name of that package is disutils so disutils 
Now, a very important point to be noted here is that this utils has been deprecated in Python and will be removed or has been planned to be removed from Python 3.12. So please make a note of this. If you are using an old version of Python, then this method will work perfectly fine for you. Now what this utils package will do is that it will help you to create the dir underscore util module within which we have a function known as mk path. So this mk path will help you to create the directories that you want in the given path. So let's go ahead and check this out. There we go. We have imported this utils dot dir underscore util and dir underscore util has the method known as mk path and within mk path we simply go ahead and pass the path wherein we want to create our required directories. So that's it. Now let's go ahead and delete the directories and let's say we don't have the directories at hand. Now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code and there we go. As you can see that we have successfully created the directories. In this case, the names of the directories were dir underscore a, which was the parent directory and dir underscore a dot one, which was the child directory. So that's how you can use this package and you can create the required directories. Now there's another way in which you can approach this problem. So let's say that you are not very comfortable with using exception handling. That is, you do not want to use try and accept blocks. So how will you implement a solution in this case to do that? Let's say that we are once again using our module OS. Now within the OS module, we have a method known as is dir, which will help us to check if a particular directory is present or not. So let's go ahead and do that. We are simply checking if the directory at this path is present or not. So we are simply using OS dot path dot is dir for this purpose. If the directories that we need are present in that case, we simply print directories already present. However, if the directories are not present in that case, use OS dot make dirs and then we simply create the dictionaries as we did in our second method. So if you remember, this is how we did it. So that's what we are doing. Once again, we are simply going ahead and creating the directories. So now let's say that we have the directories already present. So what will happen in this case? Let's see. And as you can see that directories already present has been displayed on the output screen. Now let's say that we don't have these directories. So let me go ahead and delete them. And now once again, let's go ahead and execute this piece of code. And now you can see that that the directories have been successfully created. Let's check another scenario. Let's say that this directory that is the child directory is not present and only the parent directory is present. Will it work in that case? Let's see that. And there we go. As you can see that the child directory was not present, but the parent directory was present yet the child directory got created and we successfully executed our code. Now let's talk about another scenario wherein you want to store the files in an external folder. That is, you do not want to store these files within Python OS. Instead, you want to store the files within desktop. So let's say I want to store the files here. So what do I do in this case to do this? I'll simply go ahead and use the absolute path of my desktop folder. So my desktop folder happens to be within this path. And I want to go ahead and create parent and child within desktop. Also, this is the statement which checks if the directory is present or not. At this point of time, the directory is not present here. So I simply need to go ahead and create it with the help of make dirs method of the OS module. So that's it. Now, please note that you have to use this syntax. As you can see that desktop, the path to my desktop folder is this. So I simply copied it went to my script, pasted it, and then I used a couple of slashes. This will help me to avoid an error. And then I followed the usual syntax to solve my purpose. Now let's go ahead and execute this piece of code. And there we go. This code has been executed successfully. Let's go ahead. And this is my desktop. And as you can see that I have created parent and within it, I have child. So yes, 
If you want to create nested folders in a different path, you can definitely do that with the help of their absolute path. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful. If you have any doubts, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer all your queries. Thank you.